what is the difference between SCADA control systems and automation? It is a question that I've heard many, many times. It is the issue I think I want to address to all our fellow engineers, followers, and partners and clients. Nowadays, automation refers to automate the sequence, automate a process such as a factory or site or chemical dosing process or machine control process. So automation is a generic term for automating a industrial processes. SCADA and control systems are, are in the different categories. I quite often heard people mention about SCADA, but they really means control systems and the vice versa. For example, when people talk about a PLC, having the PLCs on site for doing the automation of the processes, they will call it SCADA. So the definition of the SCADA includes supervisory control and data acquisition. As long as the system has these two major components, it can be called SCADA. So for example, a touch panel, can we call that SCADA? Probably not. Because most of the touch screens, are, there's no operator in front of it uh, constantly. They're going to be sitting on site, occasionally used for the manual or control locally on site. But what about the site tag? Site tag SCADA, we can call it SCADA. Uh, apart from its name, it's called site tag SCADA. But also the site tag SCADA is being used to controlling a much bigger plants with a lot of assets. And usually there's an operator sitting behind the screen and operating the site and, and the server is collecting the data, storing the data on the server and passed on to data historians. So what, what is the difference between SCADA and the control system and what, the, what does the control system consist of? A control system usually consists of a PLC or an RTU or some sort of intelligence electronics device on site that are sitting close to the assets people try to control. So we can call it the PLC, a component of a control system. And RTU would be also a component of a control system. And then the control system will have links. To other IEDs, such as a VSD, such as a flow meter, a pressure meter, a tank level transmitters. And this, the signal exchange between the PLC RTU and other IEDs can be done through buses. For example, Modbus, Profibus, DeviceNet, Ethernet IP. And we call this field buses. A field bus. A PLC and RTU can also interact with the physical world through physical I.O., which is input and output. And those uh, input and output signals usually can be connected in different formats. For example, the input can be 0 to 24 volt signal when the when they voltage reach to a certain level close to 24 volts and that would generate an on and off signal to the control system or to the PLC or RTU. And input can be also in a 4 to 20 milliamps analog format and the output can be in, uh, in 4 to 20 milliamp format as well. In some other circumstances, the analog signals can also be in a 0 to 5 volt or a 0 to 10 volt. Now from the control systems, 
it would interact with the SCADA server as we mentioned before, SciTech SCADA, Clear SCADA, or any other SCADA platforms. And we can call this SCADA server. Okay. And you can see there is an empty space between the RTU PLC and the SCADA servers. And the linkage between these two components is called industrial communication. In the old days, the SCADA server as were located very close to the control system, the PLCs or RTUs. They can be uh, a few meters away, a couple of hundred meters away. So the linkage between these two components can be done through the hardwired cable uh, and ethernet or the fiber optics. And it's still the case for some of the sites such like the local factories and manufacturing plants or a mining facility. However, we do notice the trends nowadays, the separation between the SCADA server and the local PLCs. And we, uh, the distance between these two components can become far greater, tens of hundreds of kilometers, sometimes a thousands of kilometers between each other. So that create a challenges for the industrial control, how to pass the data and maintain the data with a data integrity and a security as well. So if we break the linkage and I draw a cloud here and I call this communication media. And this communication media can be in various forms. It can be either through LTE or cellular, satellites, national broadband, ADSL, PSTN, dial-ups, radios, and many other forms as well. And of course, these diagrams can go, can be distributed. The control systems can be distributed into different locations. And all the data can be concentrated back to the same SCADA server. I hope today's session will give you a bit of understanding of the differences between SCADA control system and automation. If you have any questions, please give us a call, drop us an email, and we'll be happy to help you out. Thank you for watching. If you liked today's video, please like, share it, and thumbs up. I'll talk to you next time.